What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and we've got about nine months to go until the release of the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, and about three until the iPhone 6C. So in the meantime, let me fill you in on all of the latest developments, details, rumors, and leaks surrounding all of these devices. And there's been quite a bit of new information, so I'm excited to share that with you. You know, in the meantime, while we're waiting for these phones, it's always interesting to speculate, to see what kind of features Apple might be adding, and uh, most of the time they do come true. So. Like always, uh, this is all information from analysts. This isn't just stuff I'm making up, so all the latest headlines. And this is part four of my mini series. All right, so the device that we're gonna be seeing the soonest, the iPhone 6C, basically an iPhone 5S replacement. A lot of people still stick with that four inch display. And there's been some new information about this new device. So of course we know the basics. For one, it's gonna be an aluminum shell. It's gonna look very similar to the iPhone 6, but it's gonna be in a four inch flavor. So there are several bits of new information. Now the actual specs of the iPhone 6C are becoming clearer the uh, closer we move to the release. So a new report says the battery is gonna feature 1642 mAh. Now that in comparison to the iPhone 5S battery, which was uh, 1560 mAh, is almost 100 mAh mAh higher in pretty much the same form factor. So that means it could possibly be one of the best battery life performing devices Apple will be selling. And it'll be awesome. You know, the pixels on the display won't be as high as the iPhone 6. It won't have as much demand for a huge amount of battery, but still it'll have very good battery life. It's also rumored to feature two gigabytes of RAM. So something that's exclusive to the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus right now could trickle down to a smaller device, which I think is great. Now it won't get the processor of the iPhone 7 at 7 Plus, but it will get an A8 or A9 chip. A8 is rumored to be most likely. There's a word about both happening, but the A8, since it is slightly a budget phone, is uh, more likely to be. A8 and two gigabytes of RAM still. With a smaller display like that, you don't really need too much and it'll handle almost everything you can throw at it. And some smaller details, it's gonna feature 16 gigabytes of base storage. So that's something that's supposed to not happen on the iPhone 7, but on the 6C, uh, it's probably gonna stick around for another year as ridiculous as it sounds. Also, 802.11 AC Wi-Fi, you know, an eight megapixel camera taken from the iPhone 6 or possibly even the sensor from the 5S and Bluetooth 4.1 standard. Now it will have Touch ID, which is good, no 3D touch, and this is all stuff that's been around for a while, but I just wanna recap on that real quick. And it will feature 2.5 dimensional glass, which is pretty much meaning the glass tapers on the edges and it has a little bit of depth to it, which uh, supports the claim that the iPhone 6C could look a lot like just a miniature version of the iPhone 6. Now, pretty much there are some new concept renders, which I really like, and I'd like you guys to take a look at them. So these aren't very in depth, but you know, it's kind of interesting to see uh, color choices on the iPhone 6C and an analyst, Mac Akara, an often reliable Japanese blogger, pretty much said that it will come in at least three colors. So it's very likely that the 6C will feature at least gold, silver, and space gray, but possibly more colorful choices. So mass production for the iPhone 6C is set to begin in January. We're gonna be seeing an announcement in March at the event where Apple will be revealing the iPad Air 3, hopefully, the Apple Watch 2, maybe the new MacBook, and of course the iPhone 6C. So eventual release in April. The iPhone 6C, I'm really excited for it. You know, it's not a huge phone, not a huge upgrade, but it's gonna be exciting for a lot of people that want a smaller iPhone and a smaller price tag. So there are some new details on the iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus, namely the iPhone 7 Plus. So let me start with the most juiciest detail, 256 gigabytes of storage could be an option. You know, as technology progresses, it becomes easier and easier to adapt these technologies into phones. Plus, it makes sense. I mean, file sizes are rising. If Apple's gonna be creating a new bit rate for their music, you know, we're gonna need more storage space to hold new music, 4K video, live photos. All these things demand more and more space, and there's iCloud and all, but it's good to have a physical device that can hold all of your data. 256 gigabytes could be an option, which would be awesome, but prepare to spend a pretty penny. And this isn't confirmed by anyone, but I would love for Apple to phase out 16 gigabyte base storage. On the iPad Pro, it's already gone. Please adapt to the iPhones. Do not sell phones in 2016 with 16 gigabytes of base storage. So next, the battery on the iPhone 7 Plus details have emerged that suggest 
a 3100 mAh battery is likely on that larger iPhone, which is pretty much 12.7% bigger than the current iPhone 6S Plus battery, which is at 2750 mAh. So I think that'll be great. It'll definitely be accepted well to have a bigger battery instead of shrinking it like the iPhone 6S Plus did. You know, I don't have any problems with battery life, but who doesn't want an extra little bit of juice? Now, how this will actually reflect, will it give you more battery life? Will it be the same or less? We don't know yet, but a bigger battery is always welcome. And a couple of older details that I never really covered, but I did want to add. So Ming-Chi Kao, the most famous analyst, uh, that one that's about 80 to 90% accurate most of the time, he's actually said in the past that the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus will likely be the iPod Touch 5th and 6th generation size. So that's about 6 to 6.5 millimeters. It'll still be strong with the iPhone 6S. Apple has shown us that thin doesn't mean weak. They definitely made it a lot tougher, a lot stronger. And with the iPhone 7, they could further that and get into iPod Touch, you know, space with the size and still have a very durable device. And as for the actual chassis, Commercial Times, pretty much Digi Times, says that catcher technology will be responsible for up to 30 to 35% of the chassis production of the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. And they're also saying that it's very, very likely to be water resistant or waterproof just based on the way they're building it. And like I said in my last update, we covered a lot of ground where the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus could get a lot of technologies, a lot of patents filed by Apple that would mean water resistant or waterproofing technologies, which I think is awesome. Even if we don't get IP67, 68 ratings, at least be a little bit more water resistant. The 6S and 6S Plus took a step in that direction, let's go further Apple, and that's great news. And from the same source, they're saying that there will be new component materials, and this uh, coincides with a patent filed by Apple that would pretty much blend antenna bands with the material, the shell of the iPhone, making for a more uniform, pretty device, pretty much. So I think that's awesome too. Who doesn't want a more beautiful device? And lastly, uh, Ming-Chi Kao did also report a while ago actually about an Intel chip that Apple will be adopting for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. It would allow for 450 megabit download speed per second and up to 29 LTE bands. Currently, we have 300 max capacity and uh, 23 LTE bands on the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. So an evolution in uh, the LTE chip would be awesome as well. But pretty much, that's it guys. The iPhone 7, 7 Plus, really, really shaping up to be really powerful devices, beautiful. It's gonna be a complete redesign and I'm so excited to see what Apple's got up their sleeves. Now, the iPhone 6C we're gonna be seeing very soon. I'll make sure to cover everything there is to know about it. I know a lot of people are interested in these devices, so really excited for that. Be sure to check out the last update video about the leaks and rumors because I cover a lot of information I didn't in this video. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching guys. Stay tuned for any more news on the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, and 6C. Peace.